Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. Right, this uh, episode we're going to be dealing with the LEDs and also last episode I couldn't find those capacitors. Let's move some of this stuff. Would you believe I actually picked them up many times in the episode and here they are. I thought they were just resistors that I had used but they're not so First things first, we are going to stick on those two capacitors by the, the crystal. Right, I'm going to have to focus the microscope a bit. A uh, good thing is. Right, we've got a bit of solder here and here from when we put the crystal in, so these should slap in quite nicely. Let's get a piece of paper down so I can get them out of the packet. And to do right, let's get them out of the packet and get them on, and then we can. Uh, get going with the uh, LEDs. All right, here we are. You'll also notice that I have actually found uh, my my tweezers, which are ceramic tipped. Uh, oh. I may need to put some solder on this. This is actually new soldier and iron stroke tip, so hasn't hasn't been used in anger at all. Right, let's get these capacitors in. They are quite small and the board's wanting to move. I think we can get away with that. And the next one. Alright, here we go. Maybe there wasn't enough actual solder on the tips here. Definitely not. Let me uh, tin those up a bit. Definitely is now. Right, where is that one? Okay, let's just finish the rest of the soldering. Yeah, my do. Not, not doing very well because uh, I would have liked to have done that last night before I put the coil on really. Okay, they're on. And now it's down to 1001 uh, LEDs. Okay, take two. Yes, I, I screwed up. I put on all the uh, LEDs the wrong way. And I've had to take it all off. And basically, because they come, how small they are, I'm about to order in some more LEDs. Bit of a pain in the bum. Let's hope I get it right this time. Right, I've got one of the boards. I'm going to just make sure we've got ample solder on the older resistor side here. Yeah, I think we need a bit more there. Let me clean my eye. The reason why I'm actually going to pick to solder the resistor side first. I mean, it doesn't really matter what side you do do first. 
but if you look at the other side or the common side this would act as quite a big heat sink so you would need more heat to actually solder this you know joint on this side than this side and obviously I want to get these stuck into place quite simply all right let's just insert the board I'm gonna use a try a technique from uh, some other youtubers Let's, I'm putting this into a white tack blue tack will do uh, it's on a piece of paper so I can shuffle around to get the uh, image uh, image you know center of my microscope and we will try and put some LEDs on uh, this way and hopefully get them up the right way I damn hope otherwise uh, we'll be doing this again I don't look like it's that much solder there so there we go and the idea is yeah we're going to put the LEDs on the top and hopefully try and bridge the top. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is probably going to coat the top here with uh, some nice thick flux. A is going to help hold these little components slightly in place. B is going to aid in the uh, flow of the solder to the joint. Right, let's get going. Let's get some LEDs out. Right, these are the new ones that I've purchased, and I cannot see nothing's in focus. Okay, hold on, let's do some focusing. Okay, right, here's our LED. Now I've established, alright, we've got a T here, this arrow here is pointing to the big anvil, which needs to go negative. The positive is obviously the little anvil. come off I need to clean my tweezers All right let's get a bit of solder so we've got this T this is the uh, is that typical or what right here's our T this point here means this is needs to be negative in respect for this for this to work now me Find my drawing. Here's my drawing. Right, uh, is that on screen? Yeah, just about on screen. Right, the uh, the thing that I I screwed up on is yeah, I went around here because oh yeah, this looks like this is the negative line. In truthful, I should have really looked this section here. This common line is actually positive 5.1 volts, so the processor is actually taking them aground to light. So, hence why I put all the LEDs in the wrong way. So, the negative side needs to go with the resistor. Or, oh, let's, uh, are we still focused? Yep. Or, oh, should I say this line here? towards the resistor so our resist our resistors are on this side so this component basically needs to go that way 
Good thing about these resistors that I have actually purchased, uh, the other ones did as well, but not to the same degree, is you can actually see uh, the green dots there. So as long as I've got the green dots to the resistor side, we'll be good. Right, so I've just got to get it comfortable because I've got however many LEDs to stick on. Alright, let's get in position. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm a bit further away from the camera than normal. Uh, let's see how unsuccessful this will be. Uh, I haven't fluxed anything, have I? I said I was going to. All right. And yeah, I could probably do it without flux, but uh, why struggle? I might just use this screwdriver for a minute. Probably don't need too much because as it starts to get hot, it will start to to run so that little blob well that's covered the whole board really okay brilliant. right back to square one right. number one here we go green dots ah, would be nice to have it Slightly far across the space. And hopefully, I can't see who I am. It's very awkward through the microscope because I'm like a binocular thing, so I have no perception of depth. And a shaky up. Yeah. We didn't say this was uh, easy. That's one of them. Oh, look at that, got that the right way. Good, can't see if they're straight. See that one's straighter. I do have flex in the uh, There is a bit of flex in the little uh, the blue tack or white tack in my case. Oh, come on. And actually this is going better than I expected. I shouldn't speak too soon because I'm sure it'll go to uh, rats, you know what. Excuse me, I think that one's up a bit. Okay, I think uh, a bit more white tack because this this end of the board's not supported, and I think if I put a bit more white tack down, it would have been. 
probably a bit easier for me, right? Try around to these. Right, the problem I'm going to come across now is the uh, tweezers will start to get coated in flux and everything will stick. As you can probably see. And all the LEDs have typically come out of the packet upside down. So I need to look at these. Flip these around them in. Uh, this one, just time and patience, and you will get there. I'm not saying these products are easy by any stretch of the imagination, because they're uh, because they're not. Just think yourself lucky you're not doing the globe one, because you'll be uh, sticking them onto a curved bloody surface. And believe you me, that's awkward. Oh dear. Alright, for reference, I've got my soldering iron set. Uh, it is actually about 300. Uh, I'm using the uh, CSI 701A and I've just got one of the standard conical tips some people like the, the wedgie tips which yeah I do as well but I do find the conical one is it suits everything but not perfectly Where chisel tips, you know, have got their own forte and things like that. So I find it's just a good run of the mill. Now the soldering iron wattage is 35 watts, so you don't need a soldering iron station. But yeah, if you've got a you know 25, 35, uh, 35 watt soldering iron, ideal. If you've got a temperature controlled one, it don't really matter what wattage you've got because uh, it will be just giving you that the temperature you've dialed in. Which way around is that? Where's, oops, other way, other way. Time to clean. Bloody. Right, I'm basically sticking them. I will look and any which are totally pissed, which could be quite a few. I will straighten later. And as you see, the flux super helps. As soon as I touch it, it flows straight up to this junction. Right. Hold on a minute. Okay, right. So, sorry about that. Bit of a break. Uh, my daughter and that disturbed me wanting food. So, where was I? Sticking LEDs on. Can't remember what the hell I said. Is my iron hot yet? Yeah. Kind of uh, lost a bit of a train of fall. It's the wrong way around. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm going to get them on here, then worry about them being straight.
I think I got that one. It's actually not too bad. Do it this way. I am starting to work on a bit of an overhang. So I would definitely recommend full length of the board with your blue tack. Okay. Because it does, the unsupported section does get a, a bit flexible. It's probably only flexing by a, you know, a few millimetres, but when you're trying to stick on components that are only a few millimetres, it's quite disastrous, right? The tweezers have got flux on. Typical is the last one. Where, that's the wrong way around as well. Have I got this the right way around? Yep. Yep, here we are. It's the last one on this side. Okay, now we need to look. The last two don't look. Come on. Okay, I think that one looks better. That one looks better. The overall effect when they're spinning, it will not make the slightest bit of difference. Whether these are slightly twisted or not. Didn't want to do that. Okay, don't look too bad. Let's associate it with the uh, blue tack, which does stick quite well. Let's have an end on. The spacing on this one needs to be adjusted. I wonder if I'll actually stick it like that. Change the spacing. Spacing on that one slightly. It's not very easy this way around. Especially when the LEDs twi twist in your tweezers. Okay, that's better. Not too bad. Okay, let's just Flip that up. Let's have a, which one did I do? It's like there and somewhere. Okay, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna run with that. Right. I'm sticking that against the. The uh, blue tack, in my case, white tack. Let's focus a bit down. Let's glue the other side. Hopefully, there's enough. Don't 
don't want to get them too hot. Don't really have enough flux is what I was going to say. I think they're perfectly in line, but I ain't going to worry too much. Okay, that's yeah, so all the other sides done. They are not going anywhere. Ideal. Hopefully they're all the right way around. It's just... How can I test this? Let's see if I'm working out the track layout. Okay. So I'm going to use an ohm meter. And this actually supplies about 5 volts, which is sometimes enough. Right, I've said that I wanted the uh, resistor side to be more negative. And so this side needs to be positive. As you see, there's some through holes here which go to here. So I'm going to make that positive. And then we, sh we should be able to up on these. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yep. That one's a bit dim. Alright, that one's good. Okay. Do have a dim one. And a dead one. That one's dead. Okay, where's the dead one? That one. That was dead. Actually, I don't think it was sorted on the other side. That one's dead. We have a dim one. It looks like a resist, but I don't know. So it's covered in flux. Let's finish the resistance there, I mean. Should be 560 ohms. 550 ohms, okay, so. Oh, wrecking a joint. I reckon we've got a trouble with that one. Yeah, that one wasn't stuck the other side because this one's not moving. Right. I'm actually doing this here now because I think it's damn so easier than when it's connected up on the cross because uh, yeah well that would be a real pain having to change an LED I want one two where's the first one first one's there
where is this thing going? Okay, I'm not having much luck. Let's give it a bit more solder. One was near the end, one at yep. Right, have I got this the right way? Uh, no. that let's do the other sides and oh, there's one there and where's the other one there's the other one right should we do that test again Flip it over, uh, positive on the common, let's do a bank at a time, and focus. Good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Swap bands. Okay, that's all LEDs on one arm glued particularly straight I'm not doing anything about that right I'm going to do the other arm off camera and then we'll stick these onto the arm and that will conclude the top half of the build okay that's the uh, two blades fully populated with LEDs and tested hopefully all the right location I'm going to use this drawing now to determine what set go on where. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. So let me get the orientation right. As you know, it's my crystals up on the underside. But this is the orientation. Let's get my boards. And I want P17. I need that one goes on. To there and this one goes on to here right now let's get these lined up that's pretty much lined up I just want to get at least one leg sorted so it doesn't move it may also give us a bit of Play. Right, that's one side. 
Let's have a look at the other side. Yeah, we're not in line yet. <laughs> right, 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 where are we? That's not too bad. Maybe a tad more. Right, that'll do. Let me just get one. One done. Right, that's not moving anywhere. Just gotta solder up the rest of these. All right, let's get the rest of these soldered. Struggling a bit with a parallax error. I can't see if that. Yeah, that looks like it's done. Dodgy, doesn't it? Right. I think that's done. Right, okay, yeah, I think that's done. Next one round. We've got to do all four sides of each end. Probably easier if I start up this end, wouldn't it be? I changed my solder because I'm only using a very thin solder and it's uh, pretty much eating it faster than I can feed it. So let me just swap to a thicker gauge of solder. Same stuff, just a lot thicker. That one's done. They are joined, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. We can just clean the tip and And if it's really been a bugger like that, which it is, we can... A bit of braid will suck off some solder. Come on. Be enough. Okay, there you go. That's that side. Final side for this one. side now. Yep. 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 Got ya. Actually, it doesn't quite line up this side, so strange enough, not to worry. And the final side. This side actually went a lot smoother. So that's already done. I guess the final side of it. Right, that concludes this part, and it also concludes the building of the uh, 
top side of the cross. Don't know what they call it cross. I would call it H, but the uh, cross assembly. Right, stay tuned for the uh, next episode, which could be fun because I think we'll have to design our own board for this one.